What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Prime Time, aka Flows Well, and I'm bringing you another episode of Wrestling with Thoughts. This is episode two. I got my special guest, of course, my old buddy Mike Honcho on here, and we talk about uh, NBA, specifically John Morant in the beginning. Then we talk about some NFL news, and of course, what you came here for. We're talking about wrestling at the end. Here we got a good episode, and of course, like I said at the end, I'm gonna say it right now just in case. Like, comment, and share. You don't have to, but it's always appreciated, but it's never expected. Y'all have a good one. Enjoy the episode. Peace. We got to talk about your boy. We got to talk about your boy, John Morant. Because apparently John Morant has decided he's John Wick now. (laughs) (laughs) NBA young boy for real. (laughs) NBA young boy for real. I I mean, his, how you, it's been like, what, three weeks? In the last three weeks, basically, in the last month, he went from aiming, uh, allegedly, someone aiming a pistol at the, uh, a beam at the Pacers, finding out he beat that up 17 he beat up some kid and then pulled a gun out on him, and then goes on in a club and fucking... You didn't hear the other shit? What's the other shit? His mom got to argue with mm. a guard. <laughs> you didn't hear about the other shit? He's so he just been yeah, running like around. Locker or something, you want it? He's just been brother Him and nine other guys brought up in that motherfucker. What is that? like? Stop, Ja. Stop. You make so much money. Like he makes so much money. I like, love him, man. Just got a shoe deal. Like he is set for life. I think John Moran on that Molly and that X pills too, man. He can't be. That's why he say he need help. Alcohol ain't gonna do that shit to you. John like he be thrown when he ain't on the court. He look like he be thrown off, man. He do look. He, looks, he look like this. Looks very. <laughs> He do look a little off sometimes. He's like a young boy. A young boy in the streets. Mm-hmm. The only thing about it is he's so good at basketball. Like. Apparently, before all this even happened, Steven Adams had a conversation with the team. Said, we, need and to be, so we don't need to go out when we out. And Josh said, bro, I'm the star of this team. And then, look, this is what's making it so stupid. He ain't even got no big gun. He riding around with a little 380. Sit your ass down, Josh. You see what Bomani said? No, what did Bomani say? That he gonna end up like Dolph. Shit, I hope not. I swear to God, look. I hope he's not. I swear to God. Hold on, let me show you. What he said, or was this like, was this a no, real thing? No, watch this. Oh. Oh, my. But, look, look, yeah, we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk about it. We're, we're talking about it. He was let terrible. Let like, yeah, let like, he, like. But, Ja, Ja is, is, I ain't <laughs> never seen nothing like, this ain't even AI like. Yeah, like if he was out partying. But see, AI, no, AI did pull a gun on that somebody. Was, that, was, that, was, that was that was bad. That was his BS days. <laughs> when he got to the NBA, we didn't really hear nothing about obviously other fact that he was getting braided, getting his hair braided on the sideline. But this dude, Ja, is going crazy. And I, I, I hate to say, it, I don't like. I love for a dad to be in a uh, young black man's life, but T, you like he taking up for or, like he always Ja. That's my boy. Just you need to put your foot down now. Yeah, because, man, he out here wild. It's going to fuck up everybody's. Look, living in them big houses right beside him and shit, that shit going to be gone, man. Yeah, it's gone. T, you better tighten up, Usher. Let it burn, man. <laughs> Let it burn, man. That's the problem. He letting it burn. He he let, all right, you see what Shaq said? The three greatest shooters in uh, NBA history. John ja Morant. Mm-hmm. <laughs> God. John ja Morant got to go in the top three now, buddy, because, buddy, he's out here wilding. I've never seen someone's meteoric... Rise to fame. Like, he wait. Look, he wasn't doing this when he was a rookie. He wait till he get all the money. rich. Till he really rich to be like, oh, I'm going to just do all the wild you know shit what? now. I hate to say it. I'm a Memphis Grizzly fan. Get a job in Memphis. <laughs> he needs to get the hell away from there. <laughs> where, where are you going to put him? <laughs> put him in Portland. <laughs> With Dave. <coughs> no, he can't. He can't. Dave. I can tell Dame really about that life too a little bit, but Dame yeah. calm now. Dame from Oak Town, you know what he on. He about that life. He, he about that life, but Dame ain't gonna be out here on no no bringing guns to the fucking club. <laughs> Dame gonna be making platinum hits, man. Yeah, <laughs> he's he, he trying to be. A, he want to be a rapper. He's not trying to be out here doing all this extra nonsense for no reason. And like, then look, you got to think about it. With Memphis being the hotbed of music right now. Everybody's gravitating to her. Everything's going to Memphis too, so it's like. And um, Skip Bailey said that he had threw up three crip signs. <laughs> I don't know what John. John's just on something different now, and it's bad. 
because it's not gonna get better. Like he, I, I don't know. They talking about his two game suspension. No, it's indefinite. It's indefinite, man. That's what I'm saying. Like his whole his suspension changed in like 20 minutes. And think about this shit right here. They was the number two team in the West. Yeah, the number two team in the West lost the best player on their team. This will stick with him, man. This shit right here. And look, they think about the max he can get is 50. <laughs> what they get? Uh, what they get Jack and them for the uh, Malice in the Palace? <laughs> I don't remember. That's too long ago for me to remember. But the point is, John ja Moran. Uh, 50 games. Ain't number 82 games in the season, man. Yeah. He can't. Oh, you're talking about the suspension. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. If you get caught with a gun, it is a 50 game. I think is the minimum now. Like, I don't even think it's a... Uh, we can debate it situation. He <coughs> he's out of here. Like he is going to be gone, and there's nothing he can really do about this. You know what I'm saying? Really like that. Sorry about the intermission, but uh, yeah, man, John Morant. I don't know what he's gonna do because John John had this in the bag. Like he Nike, got Nike ain't let him go yet. Like no, Nike not gonna let him go because you know what? They hoping this is gonna be a rehab situation, and, and then he, he come can, back out and still be John Morant. But John gonna have to fix this. He's gonna turn all of this around. Cause if he don't turn this around right now, it's gonna be a wrap for Ja. And oh. I mean, ain't nobody gonna wanna take him because you can't take the risk of what he's gonna do on Instagram. Now. You hear you hear what Paul Pierce said? What's that? Paul Pierce said he he don't blame John Morant. He's a young black man. Well, man, you remember uh you remember Paul Pierce got stabbed up. Yeah. You remember he got stabbed up. And yeah. Had to... yeah, but he got stabbed. He ain't stabbed somebody else. That's the difference. You got to protect yourself out here, though. But old oh, boy's chain got took. I forgot just now. Uh, like two days after the job right shit, he got his chain snatched and shit. I don't know who chain. That's only one chain snatch that I'm ever gonna think about. A team. Uh, <laughs> to leave with his chain snatching, you can't do nothing about that, Michael Crabtree. He took two chains. <laughs> you might have shoot a big John Morant. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? But but like is it. You know what, man? I, I look at it because, like, you know, he was my, him and LeBron, my two favorite players in the NBA. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I knew I had the feeling about the guy that, you know what I mean? He looked a little, you know what I mean? They, they seen the boy in them spurs and them shorts and them polos and thought he was going to be safe. And he don't know that, like, in that time frame, the boys that dressed like that was the ones that was carrying a pistol the whole fucking time. So, them not the safe with the tape. Hey, these old people, like, these old people in the NBA and everything, they got to understand, man, he's living a different life. Very different. He's living a different, I mean, like, he's the type, like, I hate to say it, but, like, people, like, he's like, if, he would have been me if I had a, a abnormally great basketball skill. I'll be hanging with the same guy, doing the same thing. I hate to say it, but that's, that's just a true story and, like, a true life. And I, like... I sympathize with them because you don't want the hood to have you thinking you done left them. But you can't bring these same motherfuckers with you because they tripping. Yeah, like, <laughs> it's, it's, at some point, he got to realize that you can't bring everybody with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, like and I you, you bring, bring, the, bring like a three. But bring a three that's going to have your best interest in But in he mind. bring it. It's 12 of his homeboys. That's why he got the double 12. And look, bro, and I, I feel like, I feel what, like, I know, like, you can't, you changing your whole family's life and stuff. And you changing your homeboy's life. But sometimes you got to be like LeBron. You bring your smart homeboys with you. And y'all look out for the, the homies when you look out for the homies. Like, hey, we're going to put y'all through all these classes. Yeah, good. We're going to turn you, we're going to turn ourselves into a franchise. Even if I have to make a bond, send you something. I got you. But you can't be out here. Don't, when I, when you get out, you can hang with me at a party. But don't be bringing no guns and shit, bro. No. No, I can't deal with that right now. Mm -mm. How the fuck can I make you bond next time you fuck up? God, I know you're gonna fuck up. <laughs> if yeah, I ain't got no that. money, you ain't cost me. Yeah, it's it's just like it's so fucking crazy to me because we ain't seen nothing like this in a long time. John ja Morant, we ain't seen the John ja Morant. We talking about we talking about the player, right? Not the not his off court zero Hibachi. No, that's that's the later. That's the John Morant now. But John Morant was supposed to be Derrick Rose. Like he was the Derrick oh, Rose. Oh man! And then they say uh, they got a meme out there that the dude looking like Derrick Rose looking at John Morant with two good knees. Fuck it up. Could you imagine? What if Derrick Rose? If Derrick Rose doing this shit. We be looking at him so fucking funny. Derrick Rose didn't even talk. We looked at the funny case. He didn't even speak. Yeah, we don't even. His know brother that. was a boss. You see, he ain't getting no shit. No, not you at feel all. me? His brother was a boss in Chicago. Yes. 
got his, oh, brother, got his brother paid from his shoe deal. Like they got to pay his brother. His brother ain't, ain't shot a basketball day in his life. He shot a couple of people. <laughs> we don't know that to be factual, but hey, yeah, alle- most likely. Hey, look, allegations, man. Yeah. Allegations. But yeah. I, I, I mean, I don't know, man. I, uh, ja, like I said, this is a crossroads for John ja Morant right now. Cause we can really got to see what John ja Morant if, if it's really about basketball or it's about wanting to be with your friends. Cause honestly, he got all the talent in the world. I, I, He's making this small market very relevant. This shit ain't been like this since Grind City. Since right? Grind, yeah, since the, since them days. Yeah, and then they still, but it's always a Memphis guy though, man. Cause look, Zebo, Zebo, but Zebo didn't get in trouble until after. after. Zebo Tony was, Allen after. after. You feel what I'm saying? No one does it when they in the league. When you in the league, you got one goal: is to make enough money so you can not have to play basketball. No I'm gonna be honest, man. They take the they took the drug testing from pot from the NBA. Smoke your Louis, sit down, boy. He really needs yeah, to. I mean, like, <laughs> but see, he be drunk as hell. Do you be seeing him? Yes, I, oh, I follow him on, on all the social media. Do you media. be so seeing he, him? He, he wild on he, social media, he but he, drunk as hell. he ain't been this wild on social media until now. Like, I don't know what, I don't know who tried him. Or I don't who, know what's which on one his, his mind. It's stress. It's got to be, because like, let's be honest, not everybody made to be the franchise star. He is, though. No, no, no. Skill wise, yes, but mentally, not every, to be the franchise star, you gotta have a mental and you gotta have the gifts. He's he twenty three, bro. But he doing stuff with like he's he 20. doing stuff like he eighteen, and he can't do the eighteen year old stuff. But you got to think about look at him and it like I hate to bring up the African American dad again, but his dad is his best friend. He it's is. not like his dad. Most most sports like most. High high level successful athletes would have a, a stern dad figure or a coach or something that be like, "Yo, you fucking up, tighten up." Yeah. But when you team around, you you over there, you taking shots with everybody too. You drinking what, on the sideline. What's that gonna make? I mean, come on now. I hate to say it, but look, my dad, great dad, rest in peace, my nigga. But like, he schooled me the game. I made my own decisions. You feel me? Yeah. But see, I wasn't a fucking multi-millionaire superstar either. No. I wasn't that. I believe if I had any chance like that, my dad would be like, "He was that your uh, yeah, <laughs> he was. He, we we gonna get out the hood. We not we, coming. we and we ain't coming back. We're not coming back. And we this the last. We might ride through, Say chuck some to. deuces. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Throw a couple in the air, take a couple shots. Have, we out of there. Have a cookout. In have the a city. cookout. And look, all the kids, everybody come out. After that, I will holler at you. Yeah, I gotta go back to. Where I'm playing. I, I mean, like, I I just don't like. And the funny part is, I didn't even think about this. Memphis or Tennessee in general is not far from South Carolina. All his friends just came right they up. They can just drive right on over. They feel like they know it. he got the twelve with him. Yeah, I so, mean, like, but I'm saying, like, they need, the friends that's in South Carolina, if they want to go to Memphis, they can get to Memphis. Oh like, yeah, it ain't like they got to drive to fucking California or Portland. This is one of the things that crossed my mind too. Him and Zion grew up like with each other. You can see the difference from the the parenting between Z- Zion. Only thing we gotta worry about him is make sure he don't get overweight and his eating them, eating them beignets. And, and, uh, and, that, that's and the thing. thing that's the only thing we gotta worry about him blowing up like Barkley. Yeah, you feel me? That's the only thing. Now, this is how you can tell the difference from how you being your family situation really affects you. As a middle class, high class, or superstar, you can see that now. Yeah. You know what I mean? And this shit is crazy, bro, because, like, my little boy now, if he was, God bless him, if he gets, like, anything close to John Morant, I ain't even, I ain't close. Graduate high school and college, I'm good. You feel me? Yeah. But me being me and being from the, the place that I've been at, I'm going to want better. Absolutely. As you should. I'm going to want better. And then, like, T got job, and they doing better. But you don't tell him how to keep – you got to maintain this shit. T need to be like, look, you can't have these niggas around. You can't have these people around. I'm your daddy. If I say no, I'm still your daddy. Yeah, like, don't don't let this money fool you. I'll, I'll beat your ass. ass. You know I'll beat your ass. Like, you he, he – clearly, there's just a world where right now, John Morant is just like, I can do whatever I want because now all the money – all the endorsements – You know how dangerous is that is? Yeah. You know, and then he ain't just out here just playing around. You playing around in the streets. And yeah. You playing around in the streets of Memphis. Yes. Just had the most, 
the the biggest rapper of recent Memphis history got shot and killed up. Got shot up going to get donuts for his mama. Not on no gang shit. He was really just going to go get some food and some snacks. You know what I'm saying? And the dude and the dude changed his life. R.P. the Dolph, man. My favorite rapper. My Tupac. But now, like like Bomani said, man, he could end up like, this shit is serious down there, man. They, you think a motherfucking little young dude out there that's really out here in these streets don't want to get paid for shooting John Morant? I mean, he don't even care about the consequences. A motherfucker might be 18, get 10 years, he's 28, he didn't kill Ja. His name will forever be synonymous with killing Ja. He might end up getting killed, though, because Ja might, I mean, he in Memphis, he probably hold a lot of weight. But that's that don't mean shit. You don't supposed to do, that holding weight shit don't even, when you in the NBA, that shit don't mean shit no more. That shit don't mean shit in the streets now. Being tough on the court and being tough off the court is two different things. And it's two different toughs. You want you want to fight somebody on the court? Go ahead. I mean, you gonna get suspended, but you gonna get suspended. Pull a, pull a Zebo. Holler at a nigga in the uh, like out there near the bus. Kevin Garrett, um, Carmelo Anthony. Holler at that nigga near the bus. You don't do this dumb ass shit in the streets. Leave that street shit alone. Hey, yo, John. I love you. I know you ain't paying attention, but look, man, stay out the streets, man. He really got to, man. He really got to. Stay out the street. And look, I know, hey, keeping the image is keeping the image. Man, you're a $300 million man. You already got your image. You, you're you know a boss. I mean? You're a boss, bro. Like, you need to let that shit go, man, for real. When you, hey, look, niggas out here struggling every day trying to get to where you at. Don't come back. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't come don't back. Come hey, back. look, he, don't. Yeah, you. He, he ain't had the I can't go back mentality. That's what it is. You in, his mind, he can, in his mind, he can go to South Carolina right now and get all the love in the world. But he don't understand. That love he might be getting in South Carolina is not the love he needs. Because in the NBA, I'm not saying the people who are in South Carolina don't appreciate him. I'm sure he does a lot of South Carolina that we don't talk about, we ain't heard about, we ain't seen it. But the thing is, if he's letting this little bitty things now, like, what, what are you doing pulling the gun out on other NBA players? Like, this is the thing, bro. Who... who who in your crew thought that was even a good idea? Man, even pull a beam out. Just, I don't even like having the laser pointer no more. No, <laughs> stop playing with me. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look, all the love that you see, John, is just as much hate or even more because you up there, bro. Them, you, up, way. them niggas that you think might love you down there, them niggas plotting on you, bro, and you out here running around bullshit. You got to, hey, man, I, hey, look, I wish you the best. I know you're going to shake back. You, you seem like you like that. But damn. Don't do it no more, boy. You did. <laughs> don't do it no more, boy. Don't do it no more, and boy. I don't mean street dead. I mean like career in, dead. In, uh, yeah, in the eyes of the the public, and like man, you can't do this, man. You make hey, I can't even say you making this look bad, man. But you you, you keep that shit. If you gonna do it, do it right, basically. And I don't. You don't even need to do it. But if you are gonna do it, do it right, John. And the thing is, you clearly got people who is willing. to So, now we got to talk about the NFL. I want to talk about Geno's contract because it was really impressive for the fact that he got as much money as he did. But this is my question about it. Like, the faith that they got in him because his first year of this contract, he's getting half of the money. It's front-loaded. It's so front-loaded. But I'm curious is if it's front-loaded because of his injury history or if it's front-loaded because you feel like they could have been a one-off and you're like, okay, well, we go if we give him this one contract, he get all this money this first year, and let's just say he stinks the – Two years after the fact, you can cut them, and you won't have to worry about the salary cap. You know what it's basically like? What's that? It, he trying to. It's basically like what Daniel Jones trying to get now. It is. It's basically that. But I heard he getting a fifty fifty split on his though. That's what he should get. The some bitch threw for fifteen touchdowns. You don't need forty million dollars. Nah, you gotta pay him. But you, you gotta pay you him. You a bit like I went, but back to Geno. And you know what? I Geno Smith. It it scares me because he's an African American quarterback, and I like we were, we played college football. Geno Smith was the shit. He was him and him and Tavon Austin was Tavon the Austin. shit. They were the shit, and like he just maybe it just took him a while to fucking mature. Well, I mean, for what it's worth, he got his jaw broke at one point. So hey, man, I mean that. <laughs> Hey, look, you see what happens to Jordan Poole when you... Hey, that shit, it, it fucks with your mind. You know what <laughs> but, I mean? He got a job, bro, didn't nobody believe in him, and next thing you know, he goes and makes Russell Wilson like an afterthought in Seattle. Hey, look, it did just the one thing. He has talent. I mean, they got talent there. He's got talent. I mean, the, the running back from Michigan State, he's a monster. 
um, DK, Alien, Tyler Lockett. On the low, been one of the top five receivers, top ten receivers in the league for a little while now. If you really pay attention, Tyler Lockett's been solid. Very solid. For years. You know what I mean? And, I mean, that draft they had last year was amazing. They got stars on defense, man. And yeah. Kenneth Walker, that's his name, the mm-hmm. running back. They got stars. And, look, they got high draft picks this year. Yeah. I mean, they, they played this year. They basically, you know what they did? Thanks to Denver. They robbed Denver. They robbed Denver. Like, with no mask in their face. And look, you think about it. Who in their right mind would have said Geno Smith would have had a better year than Russell Wilson? On Denver. When we thought Denver was like, they, they had just a lot need, of injuries. all they needed. No, but when, we, when he went to Denver, we thought, well, if he can I just maintain all, I, offense, thought, I thought it was going to take over Patrick Mahomes' spot. I'm sorry for the disrespect, Patty Matt. My bad. But that defense was great. And we and that defense was, was great. It's still great. But the question is, is now whether or not Russ is going. But anyway, like I said, with the Geno thing, man, I feel like. I just hope, I just hope he have another good year. Yeah. Like personally. I want to, I hope, I hope that one, this that, last year wasn't just like a, a, a wish, like a, a wish year for him. They, his, they is, wrote the man off him right back, man. <laughs> the man got paid, man. Yeah, <laughs> they wrote the he man got, off him right back. So I'm, yeah. I'm very happy for Gino from that perspective. Yeah, yeah, yeah So, man. yeah, so that, I mean, that's the Gino thing. Now, when it comes to our team, the Cowboys, franchising Tony Pollard. We need him. We need him, but the question is now, who you going to cut? Because I was going to leave in free agency, too. I feel like Schultz and I feel like Zeke gonna be out of there. Zeke, I mean, hey, look, I appreciate it, Zeke. We couldn't get over the hump. I'm sorry. I appreciate it, but hey, those be the breaks. But you think about this shit right here. This might be the end of his career. Yeah, I don't know. If, I don't think. I don't think gonna nobody gonna pick him up, man. You can get a good. You can get a good running back in the fourth round. You think you gonna pay for Zeke Elliott? And he can't. I mean. He what three yards a carry maybe now? I mean, I'm not. I know when, that's not. When you got your Derrick Henrys running through people. And you, you put look, you put eleven in the box and still can't stop it, cause they ain't got no receiver no more. Thanks Tennessee for getting rid of AJ Brown. Wow. <laughs> but, but yeah, so I, I feel like now is gonna be time for and if Dallas with these rumors about getting DeAndre Hopkins. There's no more excuse. Like I didn't think Dak had an excuse last year. Dak, if he gets if he gets hot. There is no more excuses. Like, you're going to have to cut him at that point if he do bad this coming year. They really pull that you off. You want to be honest? Imagine how our year would have went with Amar. Now, to, to be bluntly honest. But we, could, we but they had so much faith in C.D. Lamb that they really did. And he deserved it. He, got, he went to the Pro Bowl. You could have. But you could have You could have had two. You could have had two. You could have had two of them. But now, and now you're out here trying to get DeAndre Hopkins. And I don't think that's going to be cheap. It ain't gonna be cheap. Now, Odell should still be ringing too a little bit. I, until Odell actually, uh, I can't grab some football. <laughs> I ain't too worried about Odell. Take D Hop, man. <clears throat> Take D Hop. Speaking of teams, uh, signing people, Derek Carr going to New Orleans. Make is still, that, make still the best team in the NFC South. They the best, the best team in the NFC South, right? Or was it a mistake? Because he went to Carolina, people go to the NFC South. Because I feel like Carolina had the better defense. I mean, would you? What are you gonna? I mean, offensively, yes, New Orleans yeah. has it. Like they got Slant but, Man and they got Kamara. Oh, you forgot Chris Olave, the Chris rookie. Olave. He had a good year. Yeah, he had a good year. Because um, rookie. forgot which cornerback it was, but they put him in this top five. Yeah, he was tight, man. So he, he was tight. he's so he's got all the offensive weapons. But the question is now is the defense gonna catch up to the offense? And I feel like that's they're gonna address in the draft. Because if they don't address in the draft, they're gonna be they still got Lattimore. They got Lattimore, DeMar, um, DeMario Davis, and Cam Jordan. They still tight. They still all pro at the three main levels, man. That is true. They just had a bad year last year. Jameis was getting it done last year. Famous Jameis. Jameis was getting it done before he got hurt, bro. Yeah. Jameis was getting it done. And he going to be a cap casualty. <clears throat> Question. Hey, is Taysom Hill going to get traded to the Broncos? Because you, <laughs> you know Sean Payton won't. Maybe. But. We, we. Yeah. It's going to be interesting. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, football's going to be very – we're going to talk about it more because, like, after the draft, we're really going to be – That's what it should be, all right. That's what we're going to be. How about really – hold on, one more thing. Anthony Richardson is fucking the Cam Newton time for really him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he was fucking insane, man. 
That shit was like, you know, I'm a, I love the combine. I watch everything about yeah. it. That shit was crazy what he was doing. He like an NBA player. Yeah. <laughs> like, he looked like an NBA player. He's got all the numbers that you want so bad. He broke all the records. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's got all the numbers. He's clearly the best player in this draft. And look, so it made me it made me go back on. Everybody keep talking about the Utah game that he dominated when Utah was, like, in the top five. Mm-hmm. Bruh, it looked like Cam Newton back in the day at Auburn. It really did. He was running. He threw for 400. He had four games that he threw for 400 and three that he ran for 100 and threw for over 250. But will he be the first off the board? Hell no. Hell no. Who who will be man, the <laughs> A young man that grew up under Papa Saban. <laughs> right as young is going to be the Papa Saban. <laughs> you you, you act crazy. I feel, I, feel, I feel like that's just some Alabama love. I don't, fucking, I don't feel shit. Like, you just had to do break all the records and you still gonna take the man under Saban? The, the man that won the Heisman, the year, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I mean, we'll I'm gonna do the broke all the Alabama passing records at the tool. Yeah, I'm gonna take him. Okay. <laughs> all right. All I'm saying is, we're gonna talk about this conversation like two years from now. See who. And you know who's gonna be the best quarterback out of all of them? CJ Stroud. Yeah, I can see that. And I can, like, for real. Yep. Throwing all this talk and watch him end up like fucking Justin Herbert. You remember? Yeah. Everybody didn't know how Herbert could play into that Rose Bowl game, and then he ran for 140. Yeah, I hope they build around him some some better, too, because he deserves it. But He going to go see it. Stroud, we'll talk about the draft shit later. But yeah, we'll, we'll talk about the draft after the draft gets through, because that way we can really de- uh, defend him. Because we still need to see what Chicago going to do. Trade down twice. Indiana, Indianapolis probably going to move up for four. You can get two, you can get two picks. I was like, if somebody can come off a two picks. Man, think about this. You can drop down twice. And, get, and Chicago could be, if Aaron Rodgers leave. Yeah, he did uh, He did allegedly talk to the Jets. Yeah, he did. I, uh, uh, you know, he, he ain't talked to Pat in a couple of weeks. You know, he got something brewing. He, he got, got something, something brewing. Something's coming out of Aaron Rodgers. And- he ain't talked to Pat McAfee in over two weeks. That's the, like. It's some brewing. <laughs> That's why I know something's going to happen. It's more than ayahuasca brewing. I know mm-hmm. that much because he got something going on. He got something going on. And they said, Jordan Love looking like he could. Yeah, you know how Aaron is. He ain't going for that shit. <laughs> he ain't going. Ain't, ain't, boy. You think he was in the darkness? That motherfucker had the damn earphones on. You hear everything watching Twitter. Now, Aaron could surprise everybody to go to Oak. Well, excuse me, Las Vegas with his boy. If they, if, cause I feel like they can't win in that division. How uh, long that long the man is over there? Pat, Pat and Matt, Sean Payton the game, and then Justin Herbert. <laughs> he got more, but hey, sneaky, sneaky sign another year. Not football player, Kellen Moore. He's on. He's on these offensive things with that team. That he's. We gonna see what that Prescott should have looked like. I feel like hell yeah, you got Justin Herbert. Yeah, imagine if we had Justin Herbert. Oh, I wish. I wish we had Justin <laughs> God, I wish we had Justin Herbert. But yes, um, but yeah, I mean, I mean, that's pretty much the only thing going on in the NFL right now. I mean, yeah, hey, everybody wait for the draft. So let, let's go ahead and talk about wrestling because you know that's what people came to hear. They want to hear wrestling with thoughts. One so, of the greatest, greatest week is a month. Like it's not the end of the we'll, line. We'll, Let's start with AEW because AEW was phenomenal. Yeah. Barnett, like you said, this might have been the best pay per view ten <laughs> years at least. I mean, everybody, everybody's going to give. Okay, Roman Reigns and Sami Zayn. Okay, that's great. From end to end, match pre pre show the main event. Best pay per I'm a wrestling fanatic. Great! I was on the edge of my seat every, like I said, look, and it went a spot fest. Yes, it, it was, was wrestling not, it too. Was wrestling, yeah, you got everything that you you got comedy. You got everything that a real wrestling fan will want in that fucking pay per view. Okay, so before we talk about the AEW, let's talk about the funniest part of AEW's pay per view. Hobbs on this damn ladder was the funniest shit because he. Oh, why did he? Why did he tackle the when I walk, when I go back and watch it? I'm thinking like he's supposed to just push the ladder over. Oh, that was that was on fucking Dynam. I mean Rampage. I mean Rampage, yes. Because he look, uh, you know what? He still need to be refined. But next year when we start talking about Powerhouse Hobbs, 
Cause I don't it could be what Big E's supposed to be before the day. I mean, he ain't getting the belt this. He ain't getting the belt. Powerhouse. He ain't getting it on. He ain't getting it this Wednesday. I don't think. I don't oh, think yes, he is. Yeah. They, they just they just switched the title over. But look, that before Warlow got hurt, Powerhouse was supposed to been had. But I'm saying Warlow just got the belt. They're gonna take it off of him that quick. Who gonna challenge MJF if the name Warlow? Adam, they ain't gonna get Adam Cole that pushed that fast because of the concussion. Well, it ain't gonna be Adam Cole. I feel like they're gonna just try to, for some odd reason, throw old Cowboy in there. But see, but the he look, ain't gonna beat him. But see, now this this is the thing that I'm thinking. He ain't got rid of Moxley. They both gonna take a break. They say they both need to they take should. a break because look, they are battered and bruised. And then um, you know, Hey Man didn't get that much time to be with his kid. Yeah. So he's gonna they're gonna let them both take a break. You know what I mean? Um, fucking. I, I swear to God, bro. Only person I see. And they ain't even... I think Ricky Starr's gonna get this, another shot later on. He finally got rid of that Jericho shit. Did you did you watch any of the post-conferences? I mean, press, post-press I, conferences? Uh, I, I watched... I think... I watched MJF. You one. watched MJF? Yeah. Okay, so Ricky Starks did say that he should... He'd be in contention for the title. Mm-hmm. Warlow did one, but Powerhouse interrupted it and said... That's why he go get enjoy the belt till Wednesday because it's coming home. Everybody man. saying he's gonna lose their belt, man. And of course, MJF, he, since you did watch that one, um, he gave big ups to Daniel Bryan. I, yeah, Daniel Bryan about something Brian Daniel. Yeah. But yes, Brian Daniel said he gave him big ups. He gave him a good shout out. Shout out to the pickles he was eating up because he yeah. apparently loved those pickles. Those are the best pickles ever, apparently in the world. Yeah, in the world. But he he <laughs> he talked this shit, but he was also very it was more of it, I put it to you like this for him to be the 24-7 heel that he is, it was very humanizing to see him talk that way because he's not really ever had a conversation where he was... Just being honest. Just being honest. Yeah, about he it. Usually, you, he's staying character. You, usually he, he, he's, staying he's character. slighting everybody in his, in his press conferences, but like this one, he was like, no, I'm good. he's like, I gotta give credit where credit is due. He said that was one of the best matches, you know, but it made him the best wrestler in the world now. Yeah, like, he's like, I'm him. the best. He's like, Even though not, he hit him in the head, but... Hey, it was Iron that's Man. Rest, that's he, rest. He's a heel. He's yeah. supposed to win by cheating yeah. at some point. Yeah, but like I mean, like he, you he said, got a low blow and got two got two pins off smart of Smart move. So I mean, I feel like that one, that was one of the greatest post post uh, press post match, yeah, because like it seemed like he was humble. But that there was another thing too that he he threw a lot of shots at one particular person. Sam Punk gave it to him like a dog. Boy, <laughs> gave it to I, him like a dog. I, everyone's like, now is CM Punk coming back? Because that, that's the whole is CM Punk coming back. And then look, I will get to that in a minute. But when he came in with that fucking uh, with crutch, crutch, he said, "Hey Dave, hey Dave." Yes, <laughs> he's hilarious. He was man. so funny. Like I said, that press conference was great. I I love the fact how, like I said, he he just really. He put over everyone, but he also he made still sure hit him in the he let him know, like, hey, you know. How still- about the Shawn Michaels pose, man? Yes. <laughs> How about the Shawn Michaels? It, it was great. Like I said, that was one of the best. You know what? That was his WrestleMania moment. Yeah. Not winning he, the belt. But I'll tell you this, though. He can't go to WWE. Not not the not as the person. He can't be the person he is now. Oh, no, they're going to water him down so bad. It's going to be. It ain't and gonna you be know fun. what? He's going to lead this shit up like he's fucking leaving. Because he got he to. He's CM Punk, like. He, that's who he wants to be. That, that's how I can tell that it was his role model. Yeah. He gonna pull that same shit like he's gonna leave with the belt. Can't, I, I can't wait to see where, like, cause I cannot wait to see where they're gonna be at for his final, when his contract is up. I can't wait to see where that is gonna be at. Cause if it's, if it's in New York, it's gotta be in New York, right? Like, they, they gotta put it in New York for his last one. Chicago. Allegedly. Well, if he's gonna go against Punk, yeah, he gotta do it against Chicago. Uh, uh, yeah, I think New York. Uh, but I think it's gonna be yeah. like what like, better? What they'll be, they man. Go, the crowd would be. They're gonna be insane for that whole. Look, week. best crowd I seen was the punk crowd. Yeah, that'll be the second thing. It's fine. Um, but yeah, I feel like his his final quote unquote match in AEW has got to be in New York. Who will it be against? I feel like yeah, uh, CM Punk's gonna be gonna be CM Punk. He doing the same thing to Punk, but the people, but see. Are the people, yeah, and the people will hate Punk in New York. They will absolutely destroy Punk in New York. They're going to boo him like it is nobody's business in New York. So I feel like you got to kind of do it. If you're going, if CM Punk's really coming back, and we don't know if CM Punk's coming hey, back. Hey, Tony Khan, send our application, man. We'll have that shit jump. <laughs> hey, look. Right. We'll have that shit jump. Side note, you know, you know, 
<laughs> little wrestling, uh, outside of wrestling. Uh, Duke Deuce, you know one of the yeah. rapper I like? Yes. He had a concert, and this and a guy walked up on stage. Him and his homeboy getting to do the 3D. It was freaking amazing. It was so hot. Because Rick Ross commented and said, yo, y'all need to sign him to AEW. So, it, but it was great. Like that's the baby smile. I'm gonna say because Duke, Duke, he picked he picked the dude up in his homeboy just come out of nowhere in his game. I want to get it dude. Yeah, it was it was freaking great. But no, back back to AW. Um, so yeah, that's that's the MJF fortune. This trios match, it was great. But we're gonna talk about. I cannot wait to see Alistair Black versus Kenny Omega. Good God, hey look, man, it gave me chills. That's gonna be the match, bro. It gave me chills. It gave me it gave me Omega Okada. Vibes, you feel me? It's gonna be great. It, it's going to be great. It's coming. I don't know when it's coming down the pipeline, when they're gonna make it official, but I feel like you gotta have some reason Alistair Black versus It has to you, you when they when they sat at each other mm -hmm. and uh, MVP of the match though, Brody King destroyed I mean he was a monster. He like they finally See, finally, Tony Khan got a little bit of sense. You have to push them. Like, you can put them, the top 50 wrestlers in the world, you got three of them. Yeah. Brody King, Buddy Matthews is a fucking mom. He's baby Omega. I love baby. He's, I, he's baby Kenny Omega. I love Buddy. He's Buddy a King. monster. Even the old girl, she, she play her part to the... That shit, like, the thing they got going on. But it's about time he did push him because it was looking like, uh-oh, it's about time. They go... Alistair might be going back to WWE on the Triple H regime. He's going to be a monster if he would have did it. But no, you need it. This is, this is, I ain't going to say it's lightning in a bottle because the only thing I don't like about the trios title is the fact that it's a trios title. Like, it sounds weird because it's really faction based, but at the same time, you need like a trio. Like, you know what it is? It's old WCW because they had the old six man belts. Yeah. That's what they did. But it's like, I don't know. We're going to see how this trio They have a lot go. of factions though. Yeah, but it seems like the fashions are kind of just like. Cause there ain't know, nobody that can beat. There ain't nobody that can. If the House of Black beat the Elite, nobody's beating them. Because I feel like we know who's going to be the next three to go up against them. I feel like they're really pushing uh, AR Fox and. Uh, yeah, yeah, that. The yeah, flight top, goal, flight. top flight. But so, good God. They gonna, and I mean, they're going to get their head kicked off. Like, someone's going to get their head so, smacked Somebody's off. going to the hospital because Brody King actually hangs people by his own. <laughs> That's still one of his. his that's one of his best little signature things now. Like watching him just choke somebody out on the side. Of it, it's like good god. Like he was, he's, he he was holding the Jackson boy up like a child. <laughs> like, and then man, he flies like people don't underestimate how big that motherfucker really is. Yeah, man, he flies over the top rope. He do tope suicidas. Like he, he's he, a luchador. He's a luchador. <laughs> like he he. Like I said, he he's really really that good. That fucking clothesline he hit Omega with, man, about killed that man. When he did that, whole, when he did like a <laughs> he fucking did a back flip. flip. He, got, he made him do a whole flip out of it. That was awesome too. Like I said, it was a really good pay per view. Man, I mean there there's so many there were so many good things about that pay per view. Like I said, we, I just want to talk about the two the big matches. Yeah, that was because trio. like like you said, man, with the Moxley Hangman, hey, Hangman's hey, is my dog, man. But about time he got it done, then let's see where he's gonna go. Yeah, because he got to, we got to figure out where you go. I with hope, him. I hope he had, like, the, what they were talking about, they both were going to take a little time for Moxley, man, you got to give it to him. he been the Iron Man, all except when he went to fucking rehab for the 30 days. Yeah. He's he, been the Iron, his character, motherfuckers, but through the pandemic and everything, I got to give him his credit. Oh, absolutely. He carried them, him and Chris fucking Jericho, carried a two WWE guys, carried AEW through everything. Oh, all right, a little bonus. AEW match. Jamie Hayter. I swear to God, hey, that is my wrestling crutch. I mean, crushed right now, man. I she, she's so good. And she's so young. Oh, man, they show, um, quick, quick uh, side note. They showed everybody who won from, um, the pay-per-view, right? The highest age, the person with the oldest age is Warlow at 35. Oh, AEW God. is in good hands, man. They got the youth Hater on their side. Like, um, they got the youth on their side. That's what WWE does. That have. is WWE fucking got insane. The youth. Well, they kind of got the youth, but they ain't got the youth. They though. ain't got the, like, Hangman's 31. Yeah, they got the youth on their side. So they <laughs> like, Hangman Adam Page is 31 years old. So, I, I, like I said, 
But that women's match, I mean, it's no surprise that the WWE girls are going to uh, attack Britt Baker uh, and them because why wouldn't they? But you see, know? that's all. Who's going to be the third one? Who's going to be the third one in that group? And what? The, J- with, with Jamie Hayter and Britt Rebel. Is it going to be Rebel? I, but see, they, they don't really let Rebel do. That's the that's the thing. She's been, she's been, she been training looking, and she, shit. She's been looking great on, on Instagram. I can tell you that, though. Man. But. Man, ain't nothing like Hayter. I'm a hater. Like I said, I don't know Haters what Rebel, gonna hate. Re, Rebel, I don't know what they're going to do with Rebel, but they, they got to find a third one for um, that action. Some other information I um, came across my phone Saturday. Statlands is on the way back. She's been backstage. Well, that's she, good. Don't, um, she, I hate the spoiler, but she's going to be the one to beat Card Hill. And after the Britt Baker, hey, it's gonna be Britt Baker hater on down the line in the, in yeah, the year. Yeah, that's just a matter of time. Right, look, after that, that's when Jay Carhill is gonna try to. Eh, we'll see. You but like I, I, the I, last time we did this, you said that she was gonna be a hundred and oh, so I don't know when. No, I just when they sent the information to my phone. And, hey, look, it, I hope. Hey. hey, I'm still with you. Hey, you the baddest, Jay. But it's your show. Hey, it's your, hey, maybe. Hey, maybe. Hey, maybe Chris. Hope you don't hurt your knees again. Maybe we should get hurt again. A hundred and oh might happen. Eighty five. Give me some. You know what I'm saying? But, but um, what, what was another interesting? It's crazy. With um, I, I respect what um Tony Khan's trying to do. Mark Briscoe and uh, Penta and them took on Old Boy and them. I didn't know that the Briscoes and the Lucha Bros were so tight. You remember they was in TNA yeah. first. They used to drink tequila and everything together. Like I seen the interview. You know um. Pinter's, his English kind of choppy. Yeah. Phoenix, he can talk. No, Phoenix can talk. I'm going to say Phoenix, he, he speaks. I heard the interview, man. He was like, he was emotional and everything, bro. He was like, that might be the trios that eventually goes towards the House of Black. Mark Briscoe going to win that motherfucking uh, ring on the title for Castanoli sooner or later. They got to give him one. Yeah. They got it because Jay had it. He got to give him one. Yeah, love him run. But yeah, I feel really. like he's still he's so in the AEW now. I feel like he he's gonna be part of that trios at some point. But he was, but um, he got a match against somebody in the Ring of Honor having another pay per view. Eddie Kingston down challenged the fucking Claudio. Claudio. Hey, look, I know we've been waiting for Cesaro or Claudio to get his run. I'm tired of them now, man. <laughs> I hate to say it. What? Okay. Come on, tired man. Of, man. I'm tired of them now. Um, I mean, I am. I mean, when you first came to the, I'm. All right, you held the real belt for a little while. Give it up. Go on, get this shit up. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I think maybe it took too long for him to give him a run. It might have. But damn, bro, I'm tired. You the ring on the champion now. You smacking Wheeler. Wheeler is better than you right now, man. He's not. Okay, well, let's not. We ain't going to do the, strong, the strongest man on the planet like that. Not named Mark Henry. But I, I don't know. I'd be, I feel like it's I'm tired of it, bro. It, it ain't, it's kind of not what I thought it was going to be. Yeah, I, but you know, I think because it's on Ring of Honor. I mean, I think if he had if a, he, that, that should show you okay, that they about, don't give a damn about but you. But think about it. If he had the TNT title right now, it'd be different. It might be different because you know what, he'd be on TV more. But yeah. uh, but still, he with the um, Combat Club, they'd be on TV. They are they even together? Nah. Regal, Regal's gone. DB is out here fighting. Uh, and it, it, it seems like it ain't nobody but Claudio and Eula. That's you. what I'm saying. Moxley like, walk out there and see <laughs> sometimes do his own thing. So like, I don't feel like the. I don't feel like that club is together no more. I feel like they're kind of done. You know what? That would be a team that will take the titles away from the House of Black. And they put... But who, okay, Moxley, you... Yeah, look, oh, Moxley, Claudio, Claudio and, and you. DB? No, yeah. it had to be Dang Brian. I don't think he's going back there. But I'm just saying, like, if you're going to have to do it... you rather have Willie Uta or Dang Brian. Oh, against I know what's going to be Dang Brian's next match. The one they were going to have it for Ben Door, but he had the um, fucking concussion. Oh, Fucking uh, Zack Sabre Jr. Yeah, I'll take that one. Because he was um, at the paper, um, at the little um, ring on the pay-per-view. He was like, yeah, I told you I'm the best technical wrestler in the world, Daniel. <laughs> yeah. Or oh, Brian, Brian? Yeah. I know, it's so weird. Yeah. Dave, having, having him just switch his name from his per- to his real name is yeah, so confusing sometimes. But but that's, see, that, another thing, you know fucking ring on, I ain't got no TV deal yet. Yeah. So... so they're going to have to mix them in with the AEW people just to get some, you know what I mean, make them pay. Zack Sabre Jr. and Brian, da- Brian Danielson for 60 minutes will be pretty dope. Hell yeah. <laughs> for 60 minutes. You got matches you can put together. Like we said, Black, Omega. Ugh. 
FTR's back. Give him another one with the Bucks. Might as well. Give I mean, give him another one with the well the tag team. Unless you know who's the G G G F W or whatever G W G Who? Gorilla. It's some it's uh, oh, wow. some it's, it's it's like a little another little well, you talking about wrestling, I ain't even watching yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Guess who's the tag team champion? Who? The House of Black. Um uh, fucking the Brody Lee and fucking Alex the Black. Leaders of the Black Throne. That's their name. Oh, there. yeah, 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 that, yeah, And yeah. Buddy Murphy is his own chapter in the little... Uh, yeah. What, what, if, what if the House of Black try to go for all the belts? They could, but the, I mean... Man, they, they're not getting that type of push right now. They're not going to get that type of push right now. Tony ain't going to let that one slide just yet. FTR is going to have to win the t- tag title. That's going to happen. Because yeah, if not, they're gonna be signing that WWE contract and come on back. They, don't, they ain't gonna lose to the ass boys twice. You put, they are they look. They see that the, the, the ratings are going down when the ass boys are on. They're getting that title up off their ass. Now that Tony looking stupid, should have kept it with motherfucking the acclaim. Yeah, because everybody loves the acclaim. Listen, me, daddy. Ass. Listen, listen. That's my you shit. Know what I'm saying? So, dude, dude. But okay, so that's enough on AEW. Let, let's talk about. Monday Night Raw, and what a Monday Night Raw review to, we got. To the big time. I mean. Solo versus Kevin to start it off? Come on, man. Sammy out there still trying to get Kevin on his team. Jay, 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 Jay was so stressed out because he didn't know what was going to go on. Didn't know about, you know what I'm saying? Like, they didn't know what, was, like I said, they, they let that up perfectly. But we got, let, let's, before we get in on that one, let's talk about. WrestleMania because this because that's an episode I want to do a future podcast yeah. I want I want us to rate the fits for WrestleMania because you know everyone will out something special for WrestleMania mm-hmm. so first and foremost Seth Rollins versus the Logan boy which was it Paul no yeah. Jake Paul Jake no, no Logan no. Paul Logan, Logan Paul Logan, Logan Paul my bad Logan Paul I like that build that they're putting it in this now it's getting really good. I mean, I feel like Seth's gonna win at WrestleMania, but I can also see Seth putting him over and just letting him do it. Cause, but I was, but I also I don't think Seth's gonna be crazy enough to let that the, happen. The lead up might be crap, but the match might steal the show. Oh no, the lead up has been good so far. But the, the match lead-up. might steal the show to me. Seth Rollins, he can have a match with a fucking a piece of paper, and it could be four and a half stars easily. Seth Rollins, he, I mean, he's been the best wrestler. One, the, him and AJ Styles. Mm. Kenny Omega, about 10 years. Yeah. Been the best wrestler. Even when he was in the fucking Shield, Seth was the better wrestler. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I like that Seth came into his own character now. It seems like he's getting, re- he's so comfortable. Like, here's the thing, he's never going to not be the visionary anymore. They trust him. Yeah. They finally, they, look, with the, you know, the, he'll get injured. He's injury prone too. He does have that problem. He's been good this year. Right, look, this bro, calendar year, he's been then, healthy. So that- I think they're giving him more creative control because, I think this is real Seth Rollins. Yeah. I think this is the goofy Seth Rollins. Like, ah, that's the fucking from, laugh. From the clothes and everything. I feel like this is what he always wanted to do. From the laugh, man. Yeah. It's the goddamn laugh with me, man. But, like, that's going to be a good match for WrestleMania. If they do this shit right with Bobby Lashley and Bray Wyatt, it's going to have to be other people involved. Most disappointing match, by the way, on WrestleMania, Omos versus Brock Lesnar. I don't see why they even putting this on here. Like, that, man, if Brock- anything... If it, look, the fucked up part is they're not gonna make it the first match, but it needs to be like the second or third one. Like we need you to get know that. What? Out it might be way. the first one. Brock might we want to go home, <laughs> get my check. I want to go home. I can see that. And look, too. you got you know one thing I would think about for Brock not to take the Bray match. You know he he declined that. Yeah, for him not to take the Bray match and want to work with Omos, he must like Omos. Omos Brock Lesnar Le- 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 don't like too many motherfuckers. But yeah, could you imagine the F five he gonna get him? Yeah, man? but you got to think about it. Brock. Ain't, you got to think about it. Lesnar, Lesnar just don't. He, don't he just anybody. don't. He don't fuck. Look, he don't fuck with too many people, man. That's true. I mean, That's why I know he's something must have happened with him and almost had a conversation. And then he probably like, yo, you a giant, you could be the shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just try to do this. Something must have happened to make that happen because that's what I'm thinking, it's, bro. It's gonna be. I don't think. I don't think it's gonna be the best match on the card by no means. I don't think it's gonna be. Mm-hmm. It could be. I don't think it's gonna be the worst. But it's gonna be big. It, it's gonna big be, man slapping mad big, big, man. <laughs> big man slapping me. That's how it's gonna be, bro. <laughs> I, like I said, I think that match has the potential to be like decent. Like I'm gonna get this like, could be almost a little breakout though. If he if he gives him a good beating, 
but still get F5. If, but, and you know what? Lesnar been putting people over lately. He has, but you, I don't know if he... I, I believe... But at WrestleMania? As long as he hits him with the F5 at the end, that's all people going to remember. That's true. That's going to be a monster. That, that's, uh, that's all people going to remember. Always, he, even put, he even put Braun in it, did he? Yeah. He put Braun in F5? I don't remember him putting him in the F5. Suplexed him? I know he suplexed him. Of course, he suplexed yeah. everybody. Hell yeah. But very impressive with the big show with don't forget he, he got did. the yeah, don't he was, forget he's it. a little bit younger when he did the yeah. big show. He still ain't no smaller. He ain't no smaller. Well, he still ain't no damn smaller. He ain't smaller, but I, it seemed like he got bigger. <laughs> he might have. He be out here killing elk with his bare hands and that so. Snapping that neck by the horns, man. But that match is like I said, that the next match I want to talk about, of course, is gonna be John Cena. Getting it on. Well, Austin Theory. Well, Austin Theory. You know what? He gonna put him over. He's gonna, John Cena's gonna put him over? I think he is gonna put He's him gonna over. He's gonna put him over. I, I already mean, see it. You know, we've been watching around. Promo, though, he killed him last That's why he's gonna put he him over. He destroyed him. That's why he's gonna put him and over. It wasn't even like a. It wasn't like the Roman Reigns destruction because. Oh, Austin he Theory, ate him up. Austin Theory, he, at least he had a little talk back to him. But man, it, and it might have been the Boston crowd that made it even worse. But it was just like no, Cena was feeling himself. Cena Cena was feeling himself when himself he came Boston. out there, he was almost in tears. He was yeah, because like, he ain't been there in a while. Think that, about it. That and Cena, I guess, because now Cena's become a premium, premium watch. I miss him now. I it miss makes you miss him because he ain't there every week. And, you know but, but, and then you forget how good of a promo he really was. Oh yeah. Such a great promo. Uh, like <laughs> yeah, people he, forget this. That like I said, this promo with him at A Town was good. I want to see what's going to happen in turn. Like I said, I think, like you said, I think Theory's going to win. He's going to put him over. He but, ain't going to, just Cena's not going to be there long enough to keep the U.S. belt. That's what I'm saying. He, he, Cena's already got like three more movies coming out. So it's like. Yeah, everybody knows this is one over. Yeah, this is just, just, y'all just have to be in Boston and Cena had to be at home this and week. And that so. shit, but that, they, hey, it was, per- Triple H put that shit together real good, man. Mm-hmm. And um, now, finally, we're getting the, the tea leaves to the, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn versus the Usos, because Jay, like, yeah. we're getting the tea lead. But this is the thing. Even though Cody came out. Cody, Cody. I, I understand why Cody's coming out against the bloodline, but it's, just, but it's just like, Cody, Roman ain't here. Like, we you need, we focus on that. We but you know what? I see how Triple H is. They're going to make it, stretch it out to KO ain't fucking with Sami, ain't fucking with Sami. Then right there. What Last they minute. Yeah. yeah. That's how they go. You know how they go. They got to. Yeah, you know how they go. And then next week, everybody knows it's going to be probably the Usos versus Sammy and Cody. You, everybody know how this shit lead up. It's the lead, hey, look, it's the road to WrestleMania, it's the road man. To WrestleMania. <laughs> it's the road. But good God, Triple H is putting it together real. It's good. It's, hey, it's look, people, good. people was getting kind of stressed out because they might not be on the card and he put more matches on the card now too, man. Like, that's pretty to keep it. Well, he's got more. two days now, so it's yeah. like, you, you really don't But you don't want no eight-hour fucking pay-per-view. <laughs> Four hours, Hell one day. Oh no. That's why I'm glad it's two days. But still, it's like, good God, man. Like, and then, like, everybody knows what one main event's going to be. The question is, what's the other main event? The tag match? Or is it going to be the women's match? Rhea? It should be the women's match. Honestly, Rhea versus I- Charlotte. Well, the problem is, ah, I feel like I feel like this Oscar one, versus I must Bianca. Say, I think Oscar versus Bianca is gonna be the main event for day one, and then Cody and Roman. Cody and Roman be for day two. But you're gonna have to just put like Charlotte and Rhea like right before that match, unless yeah. they're gonna do the tag titles on. Like, I guess it depends on where you gonna put the tag titles at. Is that because to me it's worth day two, but I can see it being day it one. Be day one, but it shouldn't be main event day one. If you're gonna have Bianca versus Oscar. Be honest with you. I no, feel like, because more people be no. I think you. Well, should. no, because Sam is so far over that. More people be more in tune. And, 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 and then see it, and then see is Kevin gonna show up with him. That shit would be dope. It it's it should lead up that way. So I mean, we'll we'll see how it goes. But right now, I don't know who's really gonna be the main event for that one. Like, look, look. As soon as I open it up, this is the first picture shows up. Like, it's great though. So I, I feel like there's got to be a. Let's see. We got to confirm. See, we have so many non-confirmed matches, but we got to expect. Okay, so let's do the expected matches. Of course, Edge versus Finn because that happened again last night. Um. Oh, Becky Lynch and Lita and Trish Stratus. Oh, that's interesting. They might have changed the tag title match. It might be Becky, Lita, and Trish versus Damage Control instead of the three tag teams for it. Okay, yeah. That so be that would be pretty good. 
I forgot about the Intercontinental Championship between Gunther and Drew. Man, and that like, might steal the show, too. That might steal the show. Bray versus Dom. That should be night one. Get that out of yeah. the way. No offense. I but, wouldn't mind. But yeah, I, I, Where are you going to put the Logan Paul self match? Day two or day one? Um, That's a hot... That's a kind of... That's kind of a motherfucking important match too, man. It is. I don't know where they... Like I said, we'll see because I feel like going into it, we have a little bit more of understanding. But Roman versus Cody is going to be main event for night two. I think Charlotte and Rhea is going to be on night two, but it should be before. The tag team titles between the Usos and... Um, Sammy and which that, that, should, that should be night one, but I don't know if it's, it should be main event. Cause I feel like you want to have. I feel like it should be the raw. I feel like they should give us the raw women's championship, man. I feel like the raw women's championship. Bianca has held it for as long as she's been held it at this point. But when, you, uh, but she didn't had two WrestleMania moments. Do you get Oscar the belt? Yeah, Oscar's winning. I don't, I feel like Oscar's gonna win this. I don't feel like there's a reason to. So what? What Bianca gonna go after this? It's over. No. Cause I feel like if Rhea wins, then that's that's because Rhea's gonna come back to Raw. That is gonna be, so it's just gonna be. Rhea's gonna come back to Raw because she's still gonna be with uh, yeah, what's the face? She's still gonna uh, be with the Judgment Day. So what? So it's gonna be both the women um belt gonna be on Raw? Nah, cause I I feel like Rhea she'll 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 be over on SmackDown, but Bianca be the one who challenged her, and then I feel like I don't know how to, they'll figure it out some way yeah. to get the belt back over towards SmackDown. Because I don't th- let, well no they could do the draft you know they the always do, split, it is about I about to say yeah, usually it's about a draft that time, right at, and it's usually right out the WrestleMania. WrestleMania they go to the brand split so then you that might get Bianca yeah, Bianca can go to SmackDown and yeah. that way Rhea can go to SmackDown with the belt and you'll have Oscar maybe Charlotte comes to Raw because then you get Charlotte versus Oscar and, and, then you, and, and then you think about this you can split up the street profits and down Bianca be with Montez I know I know how you feel about it. we've already had discussions about. What they gonna do with Sean and Marty, man? <laughs> Sean and Marty. Wow, but I seen a dope ass picture though. Um, in the back, it was fucking um. Back, back no, I mean in the back, like in the locker room. Oh, in the locker <laughs> like room. In the back of what? Nah, in the locker room, it was MVP, almost Cedric. Um, I was the hurt um, business. The hurt, but listen, who else was with them? Fucking um, Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins. And fucking um old boy, my boy from um NXT, Which the black dude, uh, um Mellow, oh, Mellow no. Hayes. That was, it was a dope picture, bro. Yeah, but that's too many people in the hurt. But that know. would be nice. That's like it'd be like the nation. I'm gonna say that's a, that's that's bigger than the nation of domination. Damn, already. So yeah. I don't know. They go. That's too many people. That's like six people you just list. That's the you still ain't got Bobby I, Lashley. I, I, oh yeah, damn right. <laughs> that's what I'm you still got Bobby Lashley out here. Damn, you're right. That's what I'm saying. Like that's. I don't, think, oh, I don't think the street profits to go there. But it would be it could be Montez, though. It would be If nice. they break them up, it could be Montez. But look, you can't have Montez and Melo right with each other. Nah. They, 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 they're like, they're nah, too that similar. Ain't. They too similar. It ain't going to go right. But You don't know who to push. Nah. There's going to be some nigga hate. <laughs> somewhere. But last, last little match to talk about, of course, is going to – Well, the last thing to talk about from Raw, of course, would be um, – Jay Uso turning on Sammy, which he cussed on live TV. He said, "I won't kiss Billy over your shit." Like, I was like, "Oh, he no. was grabbing him by his beard." I was like, "Oh no!" Hey, like, look, oh, my whole book put on Instagram. He said, "Man, y'all go against the grain." <laughs> look, it, it popped up with the super kid. That he was looking up. Y'all go against the grain. What? Like you talking? I'm going against my brother. This is family. This is family. <laughs> That's how you know. Here comes Solo out the blue. <laughs> yeah, like where did he come from all of a sudden? But like oh, I said, hey, they, congratulations on your marriage, Solo man. You see, you got married. I, but you know, oh, this is something else I want to talk about too. Right. Everyone's wearing this, this black ring, this black the little, the, the little black band. Look, yeah, the yeah. black, they're black. All the guys are wearing this black band now, and it's so dope. But it's just like, I, man, I everyone to, does it. Man, I used to have a red and a black one, man. I, remember that. I don't know why people are doing. It. I just did the guy. I guess I, I, well, I think because one, I, that's probably not the actual wedding band, but it's the one they wear when they wrestle. Because like, I think it's a, a silicone base. I think it's just a rubber one. Yeah. So that way, you know, you can be wrestling yeah, without yeah, tearing it up, yeah. or if it does rip, it's not your real red wing. You not losing yeah, the, yeah. You're not losing the diamonds. That's dope. That's dope. Because think about how many stones you would lose. Like, shit. I ain't going through it, man. Just you know, like old school flirt when they used to punch people with hey, the, 
Flair's a different breed. He can, he can man, he's just a rock move. He can come out there with a, he come out there with a rolly on and punch you. Man, I see the well, look real quick. Find the story on um, on Instagram. I see you drop Dustin Rose, man. I saw the guy that he had three rings on Dominic. Oh, look, dropped him. Bam! Dustin was split to hell. So, but. assuming all wrestling <coughs> and so far are correct and all that good stuff, because oh man, so when did the when you got some scissors? Some scissors is there in the kitchen. Um, hold oh, on. Uh, 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 uh. But um, hmm. you good? Yeah. Okay. Um, let's just go through this little WrestleMania prediction card real quick. You know what I mean? I know we, we, it'll probably change. Anything can change at this point. On so, the road to WrestleMania. So undisputed championship match: Roman versus Cody. We assuming Cody will. We know Cody's gonna win this one. SmackDown Women's Championship. I said it's gonna be real. You how do real. you feel like it's gonna be real? Raw Women's Championship. I said Oscar. I'm you, riding with Bianca. You think I just don't see why you gotta let her keep it? For what? What's the point of letting her keep it? She's been the most dominant. Because I feel like her and Rhea gonna be. I mean, Vita Champions. Like you ain't got time for all that. <laughs> you know what I mean? But damn, the buzz will be off of it. Like she got the real after she didn't lost to Oscar. I mean, we'll get a rematch after like SummerSlam. That's the biggest part. Of I Summer. believe if she do if she do lose the belt, it will be at SummerSlam. Oh, Bianca! Oh, you think Bianca wins and then loses to Oscar at SummerSlam? And then go at the real because you got to see. You know, Charlotte gonna want to rematch with real. We got to think about it. We got to go from WrestleMania to the to SummerSlam. SummerSlam. Yes, yeah, we pages. got to build up some shit. That's true. I don't know. I still feel like it's gonna be. I still I feel like it's gonna be. Uh, you want to take a little break real quick? Oh, no, okay. Uh, I still feel like it's gonna be Oscar winning that for some reason. Brock Lesnar versus Omos. You think it's Omos? I think. It's oh no! Be. I don't think he's gonna win. But I think. He's oh gonna no! Win. You think it's gonna be Brock Lesnar? But Omos is gonna get look great. Yeah, match. because well, like yeah, that's that's the way I like. Honestly, he he's gonna have his best match. Who, almost? Yeah. Yeah, he's just, just, he ain't got no choice to have his best match. Because it, it can't be worse than Braun Strowman versus him. That was over. The way she tried. But the wrong, the wrong people were running the company there. So then we got Seth Rollins versus Logan Paul. We both agree Seth Rollins is going to win this. But it's going it to be, be, steal the it show. Might, it's it might it's going to steal, gonna steal the, show. the show, bro. Edge versus Finn. Edge. But they keep saying that they're going to finally put that in Hell in a Cell. Edge is going to come out. If it's them two in Hell in a Cell, that's a dream match. Edge versus Finn in the Hell in the Cell. And, he, and what if fans bring back the demon? Go to hell. He better bring back the demon. What if he brings back the demon and go to hell? Matter of fact, that makes sense. That way you can keep the judgment judgment day out of it. So you got to put him in Hell in a Cell. But I would like to. He better because bring everybody the down the judgment day except Damian Priest. And he might be pre show pre show type shit. You feel me? Or what? But, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But, uh, so yeah, I feel like Ed, if it's Hell in a Cell, it's going to be Finn Balor, Demon Balor versus Edge. Edge and Hell in a Cell. I dream know. match. That but could who, steal the who, show. But who wins it? You got to give it to Finn. Because Edge won his last and, one. And then you got to think about it. Edge, is, he ain't no full-time wrestler. Yet. He's not. And then you think about that, that win for Finn at WrestleMania, how that shit will. And what if Dom beats Ray? What if Dom beats Ray? There you go. That's what we're probably going to be at. A Damian, Damian Priest. Priest. Yep, yeah, there you go. Good. There you go. It'll be with Dom. Dom's going to beat Ray. Yes, Dom, Dom's going to beat the judge, Everybody in the Judgment Day is going to win. Yeah. <laughs> everybody in the fucking Judgment, judgment Day is going to win. Gonna win. Uh, Bobby Lashley versus Bray. I don't really know who's going to win that I match. don't even give a fuck. Because <laughs> <laughs> that match could be really, really good or it could just be really corny. If, if I don't see the Hurt Business or some more Wyatts that see... I, yeah, that is like if it ain't her business versus the Wyatts, it's kind of a waste of this I, match right now. Bro, I'm not even. But I take the hurt business coming back. If I, can. I take both of the, the, them against the Wyatts. But we still got to figure out who the rest of them gonna be. They they show up. When? It's WrestleMania. What after what, WrestleMania? No, at WrestleMania. What would be the best time in the world for the rest of the Wyatts to show up? Is that the biggest stage? But that's world? a lot of people. You got to think if it's the Wyatts six. Okay. Or whatever they. But yeah. We, but we think Bray is like three of these people at the same time. But no, I know Eric Young's one because he got re signed. Oh, really? Eric okay. Eric Young's got re signed. And them two dudes from fucking on. Um, oh, yeah. You said that last time. So, yeah. That's yeah. who's going to be. I okay. Know. Well, we'll see how they go. But then, like you said, I, I don't And know. then Alexa Bliss is not on the card. Oh, wow. She's. Not, okay. All right. We'll, you know what I'm saying? We'll, we'll put a little little pin in that, pin, pin yeah. that one right there. We can get back to like that one. We're going to do a WrestleMania recap. No, no. 
Uh, Becky Lynch leading the Trish Stratus versus Davis Control. I don't you see know it. the legends. The legends win. are gonna win that one. I don't see the purpose. In, hey, I don't even know why that's gonna be a match, but I, whatever. You know, you know, because I guess I know the women's tag team is really worth talking about. To and, be you, and like Bailey, Bailey's a legend. Bailey is a legend. Io Shirai is a fucking dog. legend. Is a dog. a legend. A legend. She's a dog. She's a legend. And then uh, Dakota Khan is real good. You know what I mean? Yeah. But damn, you got them going Lita against and Trish. They're not gonna let Lita and Trish lose their wrestle back. And, and the man, they rocking with the man. Yeah, <laughs> they're they not gonna let them lose. Uh, back. Big so, time, big time bets. Nah, they ain't going on. Uh, Undisputed WWE Tag Team Championship: The Usos versus Sami Zayn KO. We feel like Sami Zayn and KO is gonna. They gotta win that. I don't know. Unless Solo do something. To, that no, that, belt, but I, I got. I'm gonna get to the Solo shit at the end. Okay. Um. Then we got the United States Championship, Austin Theory versus John Cena. We already said it. We already had a conversation. Austin Theory yeah. thinks going to win this one. Intercontinental Championship. That's going to be the one. I don't know who's going to win that one. I feel like it should be Goop. They ain't better be. Goop that should <laughs> win this. But I can feel like they could just. Um, Sheamus needs it to be the. That's the only title he ain't won. I would take Sheamus win. If, Look, if yeah, for real, he needs, like, for real, bro. Like, think about it. He got a Hall of Fame career. He's never won. The so they'll give him all the belts if he, if yeah. he will. And Put him in the Hall of Fame, won't it? But he has, yeah. But y'all, he's already in the Hall of Fame. But I feel like he he has a WrestleMania moment, but it ain't a WrestleMania moment. He need that because but, he need he, but you know that's Triple H's boy. That's been Triple H's boy since when they, you since see they start, you yeah. feel that's Triple H's boy. So he'll be like, yeah, man, fuck that. You know what I mean? I know your body breaking down and shit. Gonna we're gonna throw you. We're gonna throw you. Oh yeah, ass. I think he got married recently, like in the last. Shameless. Yeah, in the last year because I know Drew was there and. Uh, guy, was because they all had on kilts. I remember when I seen oh, the photo. Right. It was pretty. Dumb. I think, I think, uh, Claudio was there. Oh, yeah, it might have been. I was. I'm pretty sure that was it like the last, couple, yep. last couple of months. So I think mean, he got married. So congratulations to him too. Yeah. Uh, of course, the last minute match, me and Ray versus Dom. We think Dom gonna win it probably because of Damian. Con Dom. Con Dom. Yeah, win it yeah, yeah. So what was your opinion on, on uh, the solo? solo? Um, so with the dirt, she's saying they're trying to keep Solo from losing. Because they want to do Solo versus Roman to put Roman on. I, I feel like it's supposed to be, But the story's about Jay. But we listen. Are, after the but Uso, Solo is the one who could be Roman. Listen. He's the baby boy. Listen. He's he's learned from all of them. Think about it. Yeah. That the way they explained it mm-hmm. made a lot of fucking sense because the Usos lose the belt at the motherfucking um, at the uh, main event on the um, day one. So they, in the, they talking to Roman in the back. He going off on them because they didn't lose. Next thing you know, they come out there and they can't get the win. I mean, he loses to Cody. He tries to take it out on, it's oh. you guys' fault. This, uh, nah. And Solo ain't having it. <laughs> That's true. Solo. And look, you can, uh, like, the way they said this, like, he's going to be like, I've been seeing you talking about brothers. Nah, 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 nah. And I've been quiet the whole time. And it it, 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 it doesn't be his push. That would push him to the moon. Solo versus fucking Cody. Yeah. That would be a nice one, bro. Yeah, you feel me? He would lose it though. He would. But the, the build it up. But Cody build. got other people he can face before then. You could build I, Solo. I still think he's gonna be Seth Rollins going after. Oh, Cody. next that'll be next. But think about it, you let Solo fight Roman and yeah. build. Let that build up. Yeah. You know what I mean? He like the bloodline stay together, but Roman keep getting on him. Keep getting on him. Finally, Solo snaps. Solo snaps out. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> well, shit. Look, let's go ahead and wrap this up. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, bro, do you want to shout out anything or Man. anybody in particular? Shout out to my mama coming home next Tuesday. No doubt. That's what's up. That's what's up. Well, hope y'all appreciate this episode. Hope y'all enjoyed it. We enjoyed it. Like I said, we will be doing this again. We'll probably do, um, I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see if we can schedule one in before WrestleMania. But if not, we're probably going to do like a WrestleMania one most definitely. So that means you got like three more weeks, I think. Yeah, three yeah. more weeks. So, if you don't hear from us anytime soon, in three more weeks, unless something crazy in sports happens, because you never know with John Morant. But yeah. if something crazy happens, stay out the way, John. <laughs> if something crazy happens in sports, we will try to bring it to you. Like I said, we might try to make this a weekly thing, depending on how wrestling goes. But that's another episode of Wrestling with Thoughts. Hope you guys appreciate it. Y'all have a good one. Don't forget to like, comment, sub, share it with your people. Like I said, liking and all that good stuff is never, never expected, but it's always appreciated. Y'all have a good one. Y'all take it easy. Go Reeves Varel, future state champions.